are you today? My name is David Franco and welcome to the weekend of Lockety Vlog. Yes, I'm opening the weekend vlog in a sitting manner, which yes, most likely means I'm going to talk about something important. No, I'm not going to rant. I ranted last week. I'm not going to apologize for my rant because I don't like to apologize for things I've done in the past. I just look at those things I've done and things I've said and I learn from them. First of all, I do have to confirm what I said last week. There are so many nasty people out there. Like, there are, like, legit hurtful people out there. Unfortunately, I've had to block a handful of people. Oh well, right? You just gotta move on with your life. That's what happens when you literally put your life out there for others to judge you. It's just how it is. Yeah, it, it, it sucks that I focus on the negative sometimes, but when you look at it from our perspective, and by our perspective, I mean content creators, because the average person's not a vlogger, so they don't see what we see. They don't read the hateful comments and the hateful emails. People actually go out of the way to email us. It honestly hurts after a while. It does. I mean, I'm a human being with feelings. I mean, how, how would you feel if you have to constantly deal with this stuff on a daily basis? Pretty much at this point, a daily basis. It's just how it is. You have to brush it off. Um, but for the 99% out there, I would like to thank you so much for your support. I mean, all, all the nice comments really did make me feel better. So anyway, moving past all that, I have come to a conclusion to a major change to the weekend vlogs. Now, before I tell you about these changes, please keep in mind that I have been doing weekend vlogs consistently, pretty much every Monday, for years now. I don't even know the exact date when I started, but I just know it was in my old, old house. Um, it was when I first moved out of my parents' house in Jersey. Uh, around, like, sometime within those four years, I decided to start the weekend vlogs, and thankfully the weekend vlogs took off. The weekend vlogs are quite literally what keep my YouTube channel going, and I love that. I am extremely fortunate and grateful for that. I am. Because some people think I'm so entitled or whatever, but then again, is, is the world entitled to getting free content? No, it's something content creators decide to do. We sacrifice so much time to put out vlogs of this length. At least I do, every Sunday. Um, so I have made a very significant decision. This is going to make some people mad, but trust me, this is all going to blow over in a month or so. Starting next week, the weekend vlogs from now on will be released on Tuesdays instead of Mondays. However, if you want to continue to watch the weekend vlogs on Mondays, you just have to pledge a simple $2 a month. Um, now, it's not all about the money. I know I'm going to get people saying, Dave, it's all about the money, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's not all about the money, but a good portion of it is about the money. I mean, I'm much, much busier nowadays. I don't just do YouTube. I do so much stuff outside of YouTube. So I sacrifice so much time every single Sunday. I even sacrifice some family time on Sundays to get the weekend vlog out in time for you guys. And last week, I was up until, what, 2, 3 in the morning editing just to get the vlog out on Monday for you. That's why I do the weekend vlogs, guys, for you. And believe me, many times I've wanted to take the weekend vlogs off of YouTube and put them on Patreon exclusively. But I know that would not only hurt, you know, the grand portion of my audience, but it would alienate those who made me the person I am today. So yeah, I made the tough decision to move the weekend vlogs from Mondays to Tuesdays. Um, and that's pretty much all that's changing if you want to continue to watch my weekend vlogs every week. Just a simple day change, Monday to Tuesday. It's like that feeling when you find out your favorite podcast or your favorite TV show or whatever is moving from like Monday to Thursday or Monday to Wednesday. At least mine is only moving one day ahead. So it's not a huge deal. I don't want to write in the comments. So please, if you have anything negative to say, hold it back. Please hold it back. I'm not in the mood to deal with that stuff anymore. And honestly, this is a great way to introduce non-patrons to my Patreon campaign. If you've been curious about the exclusive vlogs, but you can't afford $5 a month, I completely understand. I've said this for years now. Never put me before you. Your needs should always come before my needs. Please never ever forget that. And uh, yeah, I stress Patreon a lot these days because it's a significant part of my life. I mean, it's like a brand um, promoting their highest selling product. It only makes sense. It only makes sense. Um, so there you go. And if these new $2 patrons 
really like what they see in Patreon, maybe they'll increase their pledge to $5 a month and they'll get access to nearly 200 exclusive vlogs. Yes, Patreon's only vlog number 200 is on its way. It's almost here, guys, in about a month. Excuse my neck, I just got out of the shower, that tends to happen. So, there you go. Um, this is honestly a change that works out for everyone. It's a win-win, and I truly hope you can see things from my perspective. Thank you. This is actually going to be a great weekend. It is. I have so much to do this weekend, guys. Come on, I'll show you. Come on. Alright, alright, I'll lift you. I'll lift you. So, first of all, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make coffee in a bit. Speaking of coffee, God, the audio in here is so much better. The audio sucks in my kitchen. It's a kitchen now, what do you expect? So in this box is the Keurig K Elite. Yes, a new Keurig machine for upstairs, my uh, gaming room. It finally has loot corner here. I'll go show you guys right now. And this big box down here is a bookcase for the basement for my gaming stuff, like my video games and figures and all that stuff. So yes, I can finally start using my basement soon. Very soon. Going in. Don't judge it too much, all right? Please, don't judge it too much. It's not done. It's far from done. Loot corner. Just as I put the camera on the mini fridge, um, turns on. So there it is. Okay, first of all, let me turn this cheap Chinese shit light kit on. Terrible, terrible, terrible lighting kit. Just terrible, horrible. I do not recommend this product at all. Just, it's, 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 it's crap. It's crap. I hate cheap products. Uh, so that's going to be coming down. And likely going on the back of this desk. It just does not stick well to walls. And, and yes, I know I'm going to get comments about using double-sided tape. I already have it. But I shouldn't have to use that. Um, the light patterns on my TV kit downstairs, I'll show you that again tonight, are much better. Anyway, quick tour of Loot Corner. It's not done yet. Uh, sheets blanket right there, it's coming down because I do have a very abstract looking bookshelf slash bookcase, whatever you want to call it, going right here. It's 72 inches tall, so it's going to go right about there. It's going to look really nice with all my Amiibo and everything. My Amiibo have been sitting in my closet right there and I can finally set things up. Now check this out. I don't know where this is going to go, but now that I finally have these huge rooms, I obviously have room for stuff like this now. So perhaps I'll do this soon. It's literally just a giant 8-bit Mario, which is pretty cool. Rest in peace. Here is the microwave from my friend Douglas. It does have Alexa support. Incredible. Check it out. I'll yell down because currently it's connected to my Echo Show. I don't have my Echo, my, my, bleh, my Echo Dot open yet. It's right there. Uh, that is one of many unboxings that I'll do this weekend. So check it out. Alexa, microwave for 30 seconds. Isn't that great? That's so cool. Okay, so you might be saying, David, what's the point? Because you have to get up and go to the microwave anyway, right? I completely agree. So I found out the main point behind the Ask Alexa button is you tap it because it's technically an echo button. That's just how the other echo devices see it. You tap the Alexa button on the microwave and then it triggers the echo show or my echo uh, spot or my echo dot. Uh, so basically, if you're in the kitchen and you press that, you can do commands without talking, which I'm not a huge fan of that, honestly. I'm a much, much bigger fan of verbally saying my commands. Uh, but, okay, so, example. Say I'm in a top 10 situation with blackouts, because top 10s you don't really mess around, uh, mess around with. You mess around with. I, I, I haven't had my coffee today, right? I need coffee. So, and say before I got in that top 10 situation, I heated up my coffee and I forgot about it. It was sitting there and I got a little cold. I could be sitting there, and by the time I'm like top three, I could say, Alexa, microwave for 30 seconds, just so it's ready to go. Then I've done the match, I get up, grab my coffee, and it's ready. It's one of those features where you don't argue about it. You just say, why not have it? Because I've, I've, I've seen people comment on gimmicky things like that, like, why does this have that? Well, my theory, my um, philosophy in life, I guess you could say that is, why not have it? Why not have it? And I think it's pretty badass, guys. I mean, Alexa support on a microwave? Hello, 2019. I love you so much. So, Douglas, thank you again for the microwave. I'm going to link Douglas's Twitch right below. Please follow him. It's really, really hard to grow on Twitch. It's so, so saturated. Uh, so every follow truly does make a difference. This is another unboxing that I'll be doing sometime this weekend. 
I have a cookie jar for my friend Delilah. Thank you so much. I have golden Oreos in there right now. I love them. Guys, is that not perfect for Loot Corner? It just screams gaming. Um, a K-Cup carousel from my friend Letizia. Letizia, thank you so much. That'll go perfectly today with the uh, Keurig K Elite, which I should be unboxing soon. Lots of unboxings, guys. Stay tuned. Just some cashews that they're not saying there. A Philips Hue light. This likely isn't saying here. I don't know where to put it. I just wanted to light Mario's face and a coffee sign. But arguably, the most exciting part of Loot Corner is my brand new mini fridge. I got this at Target this week. And check it out. I put my Mario magnets up. I actually designed a level. I didn't just plop these on. I designed a level. Um, I even put a one-up mushroom down there, which is, in theory, hard to get. You have to run, and then boom, boom, boom. Just be careful. Get it, and then run back up. So that's pretty cool. Check it out. I actually designed a level. This took about like a half hour. I didn't just throw them onto random places. This was um, constructed with, what's the word? I don't know. Anyway, I'm over it. I'm not over that, I'm over my explanation. So, milk for coffee. I treated myself to a 12 pack vanilla Coke. I don't drink that much soda nowadays, but I wanted to put something in the fridge. Um, some water and spare water. However, this fridge will be stocked with Capri Sun as of tonight, and I have not had Capri Sun in years. If you watch me on Twitch, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Zebras, Heidi, thank you so much for the PayPal donations. You guys are the best. Because of you, I'm going to be buying a large amount of Capri Sun tonight. You guys are the best, thank you. I cannot express how much I love my Twitch audience. Guys, if you're not watching me on there, please consider it. Please consider it, it means a lot to me. DavidsTwitch.com. Following is completely free. You don't have to donate bits or donate PayPal money or anything like that. You can just sit back and enjoy. Even if you don't like gaming. Seriously, even if you don't like gaming. Um, yeah, I primarily play games, but we usually don't talk about games. We usually talk about life and food and whatever. So, tune in. You might like it. And my gaming setup is pretty much the same. Nothing's really changed. Here's my Echo Spot. I want to unbox this this weekend. So... I guess I'll bring both of these down, yeah. Also, I've been putting in some solid office time this week on my new website, thefrankymedia.com. There's a little preview. Check out the size of this monitor, guys. I can have previews on both sides of my display, and let me tell you, it is a godsend. I love this. So basically, I work on the left and preview on the right. I mean, guys, look at that display. It's just insane. And if you're curious, I'll link it right below. It's actually not that expensive. This is a work in progress, as is this. The office hasn't really been my priority. When I'm here, I'm working. But when I'm in there, I'm gaming. And lately, I've been working on stuff downstairs. So let's close this for now. I'll be streaming in a couple hours. I'll actually be streaming twice today. Fridays are dual streams, which is pretty cool. So check out all the stuff I had to unbox this weekend. Guys, I'm so hyped. Echo Spots. All right, I'll tell you. This is a light box with like a, like, like a custom message that I can use for Loot Corner, so that should be pretty cool. Keurig K Elite, and again, a bookcase for Z Basement. Currently watching this play PUBG. And you guys were sitting on top of my slow cooker, which yes, still is in the box. I'll unbox it soon. Whew, what an intro, what an intro. You know, I gotta say, I'm actually really confident about these changes coming up to the weekend vlogs because I'll say it again, these changes don't hurt anyone. I'm simply moving the content back by one day. But if you wanna continue to watch weekend vlogs on Mondays, then you know what you can do. It's always linked right below. And obviously I just want you to know that I truly, truly appreciate your support. And please keep in mind, this is the first major change to the weekend vlogs in years. Years, 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 so I think it's only fair to me, the content creator, um, you know, the person who has a family, the person who doesn't only do YouTube, the person who works outside of YouTube a lot nowadays, um, I, think, I think it's only fair to me um, that I do this. It just makes my schedule that much easier and that much more worth it. it it's, just, it's just how it is. So guys, thank you so much for your support. So please, don't get angry. Don't get angry. That's, that's, just, that's just all I ask. Ugh, I don't like dealing with drama nowadays. My channel is all about positivity. Um, so, it is what it is. Eventually, a change had to happen. Think about it. I could have easily taken the weekend vlogs away. 
but I will never ever do that. Mark, oh, oh, hold on. Obviously they're gonna go away eventually, um, but mark my words, all right? Mark my words. I will never ever charge for the weekend vlogs, you know, standalone. Obviously I can charge for early access, but in terms of like watching them in general, no, weekend vlogs will always be 100% free. All right, I feel like my vlogs are always filled with information. Well, you know, I have a lot to tell you guys. I could easily keep these vlogs at like 20 minutes long, but that's not me. That's not me. I've been making long vlogs for years. Oh, please excuse the chat lips. It's that time of year. Speaking of, it's going down to one degree Fahrenheit this Sunday, I think. Yeah, you heard me. One degree. You might as well hit zero at that point. So yeah, my heat pumps, they're in for a bit of a challenge this weekend. They should do fine. I love my heat pumps. They're honestly one of the reasons I bought this house. Because of dual zones, dual nest thermostats. I love them. 65. Let's say hi to Maui. Hi Maui. How are you? Hi. You tired? Oh my key. And of course, hello to my smoke dope I miss you dude. It's smoky again. You know what's sad? It's that moment when you don't realize you're taking the last good picture of someone, whether it's a person or a pet. And that picture will be used for uh, future things like this, a picture frame. That's the last good picture I took of Smokey and myself. Rest in peace, Smokey. Rest in peace. You will always be missed. Okay. Time to have my coffee. God knows I need it. Last night's sleeping schedule was so weird. So yeah, let me briefly explain for those who care, all five of you. I come home from my parents' house. It was like 10, 10.30. I have rudders for dinner. Buffalo chicken sandwich. Oh, so good, so good. And I fell asleep afterwards. I fell asleep watching a Twitch stream. I set my alarm for one o'clock in the morning so I could wake up and finish editing the vlog because the vlog's over an, an hour and a half long. I love creating content, what can I say? Seriously, think about it. That's a long vlog for an exclusive vlog, an hour and a half, it's, it's crazy. Anyway, um, I wake up at one, I turn off my alarm, I guess I was like, screw it. And I woke up at 2.30 in the morning. So I woke up at 2.30, I had my coffee, and I finished editing the vlog, got sucked into other things, eventually went to bed at 5, I woke up at like 10, 10.30. So in combination with my my nap and my sleep, I got about seven hours, so I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. I'm telling you, the life of a content creator, we don't have normal sleep schedules. I'm trying though, like I'm, I'm actually trying. I got up at nine o'clock a couple times this week, which is probably late to most people, but as someone who's used to going to bed between like three and five in the morning, waking up at nine isn't bad. So I've been trying to go to bed at three, waking up at nine, it gives me a solid six hours, uh, but Next week, I'm gonna to try to wake up around eight because I truly do love having my mornings just to myself. Like, I love working on my website stuff upstairs. It's so, so nice having a home office again. And then, of course, in the afternoon, I focus on Twitch. And then the nighttime, I focus on website stuff again. So basically, mornings in the office, afternoons into evenings in the gaming room, and then nighttime into the living room or eventually the basement. Um, I'm really, really hoping to be in the basement soon. I'm just not ready to be down there yet because like I said last week, I don't feel comfortable sitting in a room that's crowded with junk. I mean, of course it's good junk, but it's still crowded. Like it's not organized to the point where I'm happy and I'm obviously a neat freak, so it's gonna have to wait, you know? Okay, it's coffee time. Well, hello Maui. Good morning. Bye Maui. He's probably gonna eat his food. Yep, there he goes. Let's follow him. Oh my god, it's like an undercover show. Shh. What's he gonna do? Oh, he's hungry. Hi, Mal. <laughs> I love that cat. So here's the basement. I mean, it's not looking bad, right? 
I actually think it looks great. It's very, very comfortable down here. I just have to move some things. So I think that shelf I bought is likely going to go here, which I think could be perfect. And then that's going to go over there. The chill bag is going to go maybe here. Popcorn machine is likely going to go here. Or maybe the popcorn machine will go over there. Or maybe the video games will go over there. <sighs> Guys, I don't know. Actually, I just thought of something. I'm probably going to have to order a second bookshelf. If I like that one a lot, I'll just order it again so I have two. You know, that way they match. God, look, look, look at this natural lighting. Just from this little window alone. I love natural light. God, I love it. Anyway, I'm going to need two bookcases. I don't know why I didn't think of that until now because once this is set up, I'm, I'm going to need somewhere to hold all my Nintendo 64 games, my Dreamcast games, my Sega Saturn games, like my Super NES games because I'm talking about going way back. It's going to be a lot of fun. And yes, I'm finally going to hang up the Godzilla poster soon, I promise. It's just so nice to finally have room. And then, of course, the bar. I'm going to work on that eventually. <sighs> if I had, like, a whole family in the house with me, yeah, this probably would have been done a while ago. But it's just me, and I like to stay busy during the day with non-house-related stuff like Twitch and website design and all that stuff. So, obviously, it's going to take a little while. All right, for real, guys. It's coffee time. No more talking. All right, it's time to enjoy... My coffee, my breakfast, sausage, egg, and cheese sandwich. Yeah, it's good enough. Water. And it's time to publish the pigeons only of La Cote Vlog. It's going to be a good weekend. And I should be seeing the parentals. They have a lot of things going on this weekend with their church because my mom's becoming a deacon on Sunday. Um, so they have a retreat today and a retreat tomorrow. So they're going to be pretty busy this weekend. Um, but I'm going to try to get them on camera as much as I can. But hey, if you like me, which, which I hope you do, then you're going to enjoy this vlog. Because I'm going to say it again. Plenty of unboxings. That's pretty much the theme of this weekend. Unboxings, unboxings, unboxings. And plus, we're apparently going to get a lot of snow. So there's a good chance I'm going to be snowed in. such a huge box. I think it's because my coffee's in there. This I'm going to unbox later. Echo Spot. My uh, priority today is the Keurig. So let's get that open. Actually, no. Let's do this first. I don't know where to put you guys. That's the only awkward thing about this house. I don't have many locations where I can put my camera on like a windowsill or whatever. Plus, I'm using my Pixie Mini tripod. Right here? No, hold on. No. Oh, whatever. It's good enough, right? It's good enough. So I'm gonna unbox this first. Get my scissors. Actually, you know what? Let me just come over to you guys like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not too bad, right? So this is a light box where I can display custom messages. And I got this specifically for my loot corner. And I figured it could be a fun little way to bring life into my gaming room. So I'm thinking about the custom message. I'm thinking I'm going to go with um, press E to loot. Because I, I use E to loot, not, not F. I think E is a lot more uh, realistic for your finger movement. And of course I can change this to other things. Get yeah, my like, free box. So I will link this right below. Of course, I'll show you how it works later. This is just a basic unboxing. Hey, Maui. Yep, there he goes. You go in the box. I forget how I came across this. Maybe I was searching for LEDs and it showed up in the Amazon recommended thing or whatever. I don't know. Typical Amazon, right? Taking my money. No regrets, guys. No regrets. So, there you go. Obviously, mine's not going to look like this. But believe in yourself is the message they're using as an example in the box. That's pretty cool, guys. Pretty, pretty cool. So I can, I can change this to anything I want as long as it fits on three lines. So again, press E to loot, I think it could be pretty cool. Like press E to loot up here, and then the bottom one, maybe put some kind of sticker, like gaming related stickers, I don't know. All right, the more exciting unboxing is right here. Let's try to do this without breaking anything. It's a big box, guys. It is a huge box. 
I'm so hyped about this. I actually saw this exact Keurig machine in Target. But I figured I'd buy it on Amazon, because you know me, Amazon. I love Amazon. Plus, I'm pretty sure it was cheaper on Amazon. I'll say Amazon one more time. Oh, God! Come on, you little shit! Woo, baby! Okay, so, yeah. They gave me the coffee in the same package. Smart. 60k cups. Love it. And the actual coffee maker is right here. It's actually pretty light. Let's unbox it. And again, I apologize for the bad audio. It's both the kitchen and this camera. Honestly, this camera looks amazing, but it sounds terrible. Its days are numbered. Now I'm down into that box. I'm not even really like an Adam's Family fan, but I always find myself singing the theme song. And there she is. Ooh, baby. I love you. Don't worry, I love you too, Maui. <laughs> Guys, there you go. Keurig K Elite. Now, you might notice this one does not have a touch screen like this one does. I did that on purpose because apparently the, the failure rate of these screens isn't the best because the steam rises from the coffee and over time it short circuits, which, I don't know, apparently is not the best design choice, I'll say that. But uh, anyway, this one has a ton of options. I do have a little display up there for time and whatever. This one looks beautiful. Again, I saw this in Target. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, okay, this is the one. Um, it is brushed slate, so it's like a very dark finish, which will be nice contrast against my white table. So, yeah, this is gonna be quite cute. What do you say we go upstairs and set it up right now? Why not? Then I'm gonna get some lunch. He jumped out. Also, I need to bring that shelf down. It's very, very tall. Look how tall that box is. That I think I'm going to build tomorrow. Realistically tomorrow, because again, I'm streaming twice today. All right. Got that auxiliary heat going. It's like 60 degrees up here. So when I get it up to 65 since I'll be streaming soon. Whoa, 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 whoa. By the way, don't I legit seem happier today? It's just amazing when you rant in a vlog, which could backfire with some people, but that's fine. But honestly, I think ranting is important. It just feels nice to get your thoughts out into the world, even if people judge you. You need to get your thoughts out, guys. Stop bottling things up. You need to be outspoken. That is a beautiful bird in my tree. Beautiful bird. Pretty bird, pretty bird. All right, guys, here we go. It's time to unbox the Keurig K Elite. It's not the most sturdy table. This table might be temporary. We'll see. Now where did I put my scissors? Shia, Shia. I'm using my left hand. I'm not that coordinated with my left hand. There you go, baby, there you go. Actually, Mario's probably not even gonna stay up here. He's probably gonna go on my new shelf. All right, guys, the Keurig K Elite. I am truly hyped. I haven't bought a Keurig in a long time. Keurig, let's get broing. I like the way you think. Oh, look at that, you get a little sample. Variety pack, coffee and hot cocoa collection. Pretty cool. One of the pieces. Ugh. Ugh. It's actually pretty heavy. Here, Maui. 
Sorry. Let me fix that. There you go. Good. Look. You know you want to go in. Alright. I will be back. I need two hands. Unfortunately, I don't have three. Dude. That's so badass. I have a Keurig in my gaming room. My dream is coming true. Okay, so I think it's all together. I still have to set the time. I gotta say, the design is actually quite beautiful. I mean, it really is. Look at that color scheme. It looks so, so good. I have to work on my cable management down here. I might have an extra... Actually, I think I do. Don't I have an extra Blue Lounge cable box? I have one somewhere. Or maybe I don't. Kind of love having closet space. Hmm. I thought I had an extra one. Maybe not. Basically, I need another one of those. Those are a godsend, guys. Seriously, if you're not using them for your cables, you're seriously missing out. I mean, look, for my gaming setup, I have two. <laughs> I have two. And even then, it's a mess. I, I have to get back there and tidy them up. But it makes it so much easier to manage your cables. Just verifying. I definitely don't have one. Nah, man, that sucks. More money I'm going to throw at Amazon. It's okay, it's worth it. So, it's set up. I have to do one hot water brew. Ooh, look at those lights, look at those lights. Very nice. Just to, um, so hot water, small. Just to clean it out. Dude, I love this. Of course I got water on the top. I will be buying big jugs of water like I used to in my Jersey house and just have them down here because putting that water reservoir in my sink is a pain because obviously it's not meant to be under a faucet. There's me. There's me. As I am hyped. This is so great. It's finally coming together. The big piece of the puzzle though is the shelf which will definitely be here next week. So I will set that up in the patrons only vlog, set up my amiibo, all that stuff. It's gonna look good, guys. Part of me wants to put the fridge up top, but I think it will look a little crowded. I, I, like, I like the fact that we have some empty space to add things, um, you know, just to keep it alive in a way for updates. I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm gonna do one more brew. I forget who sent me this, but whoever did, thank you so much. God, I wish I wish I could sell this design online. <laughs> it's just, it's terrifying. Just downright terrifying. So let's do another one. This has a lot of traction, by the way. It feels so good. Hot water, small. I love it, guys. I love it. I essentially have a kitchen up here. How cool is that? And of course, I have the bathroom right next door. Oh, I love it. I do. I love it. And I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you. More drippage. Oh, give it to me, baby. Drip for me. All right, so now I'm going to unbox these K-Cups and put them in the carousel. I actually had one of these in my old house, like old, old house. I don't know where it went, though, but I definitely like this one more. The black goes well with the uh, brushed slate. I think this is every coffee lover's dream right here. Wait for it. Come on! Lots of comments on Patreon. Josh Reed, thank you for your feedback. Appreciate it. Here we go. Whether it's freshly brewed coffee or K-Cups, I don't care. I just love coffee. This camera. Now he likes them. Now he... Go get it. Go get it.
Go get it. Okay. I need lunch. Hey, Maui, you gonna clean that up or what? Alright, I guess I'll do it. Actually, my dad asked me if I want to do rotors for lunch. Heck yeah. So today's stream is going to be a little late, but I am streaming twice. It's already 1.45. Typically on Fridays, my first stream is shorter than a second. Um, because, well, I need time to go to Target and McDonald's later and all that stuff. But at least I get to see Papa Buff, and I'll vlog him. You can see my car. Um, so cool. Sounds good. I need food, why not? And plus, this is a great, great excuse to get coffee. Oh, I promised Mally a treat. Shout out to Cat Ornsby. Sorry, that was loud. Cat Ornsby, thank you so much for these. Um, you were just overall a very happy and positive person, and I love you for that. I do. I don't mean to drop the L word like that, but you know what I mean. It's just, you embrace positivity. You do, and I respect that about you so much. I don't even know if you're seeing this video. If you do, text me, please. Dude, what's with you in boxes? Hey, Mal, you want a treat? Come on. Ugh. Oh, he wants them. Good boy. Enjoy. Chew them. Don't just swallow them whole. Who am I kidding? He's not going to chew them. Today's off to a great start. Got some new things set up. About to have lunch with Papa Puff. Then I'm going to stream. I just like being in a good mood. Can you blame me? I'm trying to look past all the negativity in recent weeks and just focus on what really matters. Dear Lord, thank you for this fine, outstanding brother's food. Yes, this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And God bless America. Hello, Father. So what do we have? What'd you get? Um, I don't know. Oh, this has to be my fries. I actually, I actually got fries too. Oh, could be yours then. Mine, mine's cheese fries though, so they probably put it in it, put it in a container because I, I know rudders. See, I'm good. I got oh baby, big old burger with cheese fries cheese. and onion rings. And oh bacon. my god, <laughs> that's thick. <laughs> These are hard. It's like on a plate. Yo, Dad, I'm impressed. Good job. You know you eat it like that. No, no. And I got two tornadoes. Pepperoni and cheese, and pepper jack cheese, or whatever it's called. These I'm taking home. The fries are gonna eat now. These I'll probably eat on stream. It's already 2.23. Thank you, Dad, for all this. You're welcome. And I got coffee. It's very rare that I actually eat here. I, I like to eat at home, but Dad bought, so I'm like, I'll stay. Second question. I would like to accomplish something you can't even see that. I'm overdue for some drinkage, by the way. Probably next weekend for the hangout. Huh, this weekend. Sorry, that's good. It's, it's, it's gonna snow, right? Okay, Big time. I don't know. Okay. Good lunch with Dad. Good lunch, good lunch, good times. Always feels good to get food in your system. Viss is playing Blackout again. Very cool. Now, granted, he's getting paid to play it. But still, I love Blackouts. As much as I want to watch, I must go upstairs and stream. I'm usually live by now. It's already 3.17. But today was a little different, you know? Today was a little different, and at least I'm streaming tonight. Got my coffee ready. And please ignore that mess on the stove. I had a little incident this week. I'll clean it, I'll clean it. Anyway, um, I beat Bioshock 1 last week for a second time. First time was on 360, second time was on PC. And I beat Bioshock 2 this week, yesterday to be precise. Um, first time on 360, second time on PC. And now I'm going to start Bioshock Infinite, which I'm legit excited to play again because I recall loving that game despite it being very, very different than Bioshock 1 and 2. I'm excited to go through it again on PC as well. Come on, keyboard and mouse, you just can't beat it. Plus, higher frame rates, better textures, like just all around a better experience. So let's do this. Next time you'll see me, it'll be dark out. Also, shout out to my friend Kirsten. I will be unboxing your package manana. I promise. Doesn't that look cool? Of course, it's gonna look even better once it's actually done. And ignore that flicker. Obviously, you don't see that in person. That has to do with the, re the uh, refresh rate of the camera. So, I just got done playing Bioshock Infinite for a few hours. 
My God. Can I just... Oh, hold on, hold on. Windows is doing some kind of update. There you go. <sighs> you know what? For years, I said Bioshock 2 is my favorite out of all three. But playing Infinite is reminding me how truly epic that experience is. Not only is combat so freaking refined and satisfying, but using the, the skylines or whatever they're called, just all around an incredible, incredible, incredible experience. If you've not played Bioshock Infinite, please do yourself the favor and play Bioshock 1 and 2 first and then go to Bioshock Infinite. And like, it's so radically different than Bioshock 1 and 2. Uh, but I think I'm here to say that, I mean, granted, I haven't finished the game today. I finished it years ago. But I might be here to say today that Bioshock Infinite is now my favorite over Bioshock 2. So in order, it might go 3-2-1, because the series just gets better and better. So it begs the question, are we going to get a Bioshock 4? I think so. I think so. It's just a matter of time. Also, shout out to my dude, Otter. He um, reminded me tonight that Bioshock Infinite's DLC takes you back to Rapture which I forgot about until tonight, and I never played the DLC. So, you have my word. Once I beat Infinite, I'll beat it by, like, probably Tuesday or Wednesday, then, um, yes, I'm gonna jump into the DLC. The only thing that sucks about streaming Infinite is I wrapped up with 20 viewers tonight. I don't know, I don't know the max. I should get it any minute on my, uh, iPhone. But streaming an older game like that pretty much guarantees a less view count. For instance, tonight I maxed out at, oh, 36 viewers. That's actually higher than I thought it would be. And plus, it's a Friday night. People are out having dinner, hanging out, socializing, all that stuff. Um, but uh, anyway, the point is, don't be afraid to stream older games just because you're going to get a lower view count. I mean, look at Ninja. He can go from like 50 or 60,000 viewers when playing Fortnite all the way down to like 5,000 when he plays Final Fantasy XI. I mean, I wish 5,000 was a low number for me. So, they have it. Awesome, awesome, awesome times tonight in Bioshock Infinite. I'm actually hyped to play it more. I would keep playing, but I have to hit up Target and uh, McDonald's for dinner. I'm just going to leave these lights on. God, this room looks good. Look at this. We got a whole station going on now. I'm going to go to Target, get some jugs of water. I'm actually going to shut this. I don't want Maui in here just in case. Probably gonna buy myself a snow shovel. Yes, I don't own a snow shovel. I had one in my old house because it's technically my dad's. Ooh, it's chilly down here. Ooh, shit. Ooh, shiitake mushrooms. No, seriously, it's pretty freaking cold down here. What did my nest change to? It tries to learn, but yeah, 60. Put that on 65. Hey, Maui, Tani. I'll feed you. Oh, he just woke up. Hi, Tani. Come on, man. Tiny. Stretch. This dude's got the life. <sighs> Alright. I mean, the nest is smart. It set itself to 60 because it knew I wasn't down here. And it was 62, so that's, that's not too bad. It's not like it's 55. And plus, I just turned on auxiliary heat, which is expensive, but it gets the job done literally within minutes. Auxiliary heat is hot. I love it. Alright, I'm gonna feed this dude. Hit up Target to get a few things, get some dinner, and then hop back on the Twitch. The night's just getting started. Tonight's dinner, saucy seafood bake. Huh. I don't think I've ever given Maui this one. Hopefully he likes it. He'll like what he gets. It's free. All right, my fine peeps. <clears throat> it is that time of the week to eat McDonald's fries. Because <clears throat> that's what I do. But first of all, I want to give a shout out to my Twitch viewers. Um, I bought 60 packs of Capri Sun, thanks to your donations. Uh, Heidi and Seabrez specifically sent me $16, $8 each, saying, David, buy a Capri Sun. So I bought a 30 pack of Fruit Punch, two 10 packs of Wild Cherry, and one 10 pack of Tropical Punch. Now, the thing is, I don't drink Capri Sun. But Danny Minnick and everyone else in the chat room insist I start drinking it again, especially with my mini fridge. So with 60 packs of Capri Sun, I am well stocked. I'm hyped. Guys, thank you so much. DavidsTwitch.com. It truly is making a difference. 
I mean, I know it's just juice, but the fact that people actually send me money specifically to get something for my fridge, which technically counts as my stream, that's incredible. Guys, thank you. Thank you so much. Between like Patreon and Twitch and everything, I receive a lot of support, so thank you. Thank you. All right, I got free fries. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. I love free fries. Using the McDonald's app. Also, hold on. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I got a buttermilk chicken crispy sandwich, which I do like, but the aftertaste is kind of weird. You get, you get like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It's like an oily aftertaste. Mmm. But I really like the taste when, when you're eating it because it truly is crispy. Oh, yeah. The fries could be hotter. That's okay. You know what? I'm not a complainer. They're free fries. I don't complain about free things. Never have, never will. Whether it's free content, free french fries, free tech, whatever. We're fortunate to be in a world where we get someone for free. I thought that was a giant Apple logo inside that company. That, that, um, actually, that's a police station. Never mind. I got excited for a second. Thank you guys so much for backing me with all these changes going on. But do know, I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, at least those who are nice to me. Mm. Okay, I'm done. I must go. Slow down. I have a very, very long night of shimming ahead of me. Oh, oh, hold on. David, calm down. I bought other things for my loot corner. I bought sugar. I bought this big old glass canister for my sugar. I bought plastic spoons just to have up there. I have milk already. That's in my fridge. Um, I bought cereal. That's not related, but Oreo O's. Never tried them. I know they're not new, but I'm curious. And milk. What else did I buy? I'll show you guys in a bit. Mmm. Imagine a world without food. It's impossible. You can't. Without food, you're not alive. Without being alive, you can't imagine. I decided to eat dinner here. Mom and dad are down the street at Pizza City. So I figured why not stop by for a little bit. How much chicken sandwich? Hi, Hunter Pants. Hunter Pants. Hunter Pants. You wanna see something sad? Oh, you really can't see it from here, but there's a huge dumpster next door. Since the um, neighbor died last week. Very sad. Hi, Hunter. Hi, 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 hi. Appreciate life, right, Pants? Tomorrow, I'm gonna say it again. Tomorrow is never promised. No, it's not. No, it's not. Booty! You're the best booty in Strasbourg. You know that, son? You know what I am? Hi. I think Jasmine's in the bathroom. I'm not gonna bother her right now. Yeah, she's probably in there. I'll leave her be. Hey, fire. Guys, you're cute. That's her. <laughs> What's with you jumping? My battery's low, so I'm not gonna record too much here. But I will show you Blinks shortly. Here, Blinks. Blinks, come here. Over here. Hi. Oh, you're looking good. You're looking good, Blinks. So we went to the vet this week. And he got more intense medicine for his eye. So, in theory, it's going to help him faster. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, Blinks. 
I love you so much. You're a rookie. Look at him. <laughs> He's so cuddle friendly. <laughs> Hi, Blanks. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I know, what's all that noise? What's all that noise? Dee -dee 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 -dee. Come here, Blinks. Psst, psst, psst. Come on. Psst, psst, psst. Look at us. Oh. <laughs> Excuse the chinage. Are people happy to see Blinks, David? Yes. They're worried about his eye. In the comments. We're more aggressively treating it. I know, I told him. Come here, Blinks. Psst, psst, psst. Hi. He's very, like, active, though. Like, he doesn't act weird. It's just his eye. Come here, Blinks. His appetite's great. He actually gained half a pound. It's a form of herpes. Blinks has herpes. Psst, psst, psst. Hi. Blinks. That is true. Mom, how are you? What's new? Oh, you know. Hi. So How's your new job? Good. I survived the first week. Good. Congrats. Woohoo! I like it. It's a lot, but it's fun. Oh, it's eyes opening. Good. It's a lot of work, but it's fun. Interesting stuff. Can't discuss it though. Top secret. Is this junk? Really, it is. Doing? Did you order this? Yeah. We're to this I like, although this, oh my god, it feels so cheap. This feels really cheap. Okay, yeah. This is a direct ripoff of the tripod I use. I'm just not holding it right now. Oh my god. Holy crap, that is so cheap. <laughs> it's like cheap. It was cheap. It's, it's Chinese crap. But hey, if it works, it works, Mom. That's all that matters. Yeah. Hey, Blinks. I don't Wait, how, how much was all this? Okay. Not more than 20? Probably 15. Fourteen ninety nine. That feels like thirty. Thirty? Oh, you got gypped. This feels good. Feel I'm like just kidding. Hold on, let me see. How do you get it out? Packaging is really good. Are you joking? Oh, okay. Now this feels better. This this has some good weight to it. Oh, and it's got a little button to it. Cool. This I like. It's just this that feels incredibly cheap. But if it works, it works. This is cool for your phone. It's and what's make, that? A light? To make, it's to make videos. What is that? A light? It's like mounted on something like this to do quick videos. Yeah. Can you show us the light before the battery dies? Yeah. Curious. Wow, there's no batteries in it. Oh, it's a little sure. ring light. How cute. Does it use a sing single double A? That's funny. I don't know. Can you help me with this stuff? I will be over tomorrow. Okay. I think we're doing Target tomorrow. You and me, right? Yes. So we'll vlog that. Before the storm. Yes. How much snow are we getting? Well, it's not so much snow, but ice. Okay. I think we're in the six to eight, maybe? Six to eight? I think. I don't know. They keep changing it. But I was going to switch over to freezing rain, which is what's bad. That's enough the snow is in. You cannot drive in freezing rain. We can walk everywhere. Did you hear him? Yep. Hi. Hi. He's like, you're ignoring me. Hi, Blinks. Blinks. Blinks, Mom, I gotta put your ointment in your eye. God, it's heavy? When you said a GoPro. He's getting heavy. He's definitely putting on weight. <laughs> you feel it? Yeah, big time. Hi. I, th I think we gotta clean him. You have fun with that. Okay, he's so comfortable with me. Can I try to sneak this on his eye? Oh, I love him. Camera work, Mom. Oh, sorry. Always prioritize the camera. Oh, good boy. See? Camera. Sorry, I can't rub in. <gasps> Is he purring? I think so. Good boy. See, that's like a massage. That part's e hard, easier. The drops are harder. Hi. Oh, hey! You like it? If I make it like. Oh, he opened his eye! Yay! <laughs> oh, you scared. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he, doesn't all right. like, he doesn't like loud noises. Yeah, he's very I, I laughed before and he ran. Cleaning time. Like, good boy. Trying to make him beautiful again. He 
He likes that. <laughs> you like that? He's so affectionate. It's a little warm rag. That's why, huh? I love him. It's a little warm rag. <laughs> he loves that. You like that? Good boy, Blanks. Make you pretty. Airbook key. Make you pretty. Okay. Shout out to Uncle Jody. She surprised me and sent me a pack of liners for my slow cooker. Oh my Isn't god. Isn't that cool? I need those. Really? Remind me. You can me. have a couple if you want. We were just talking about that today. We have a security guard at work that walks us to work. Well, he watches us go to work hard. He, he'll walk with you if you want. And he's into cooking. And he said he uses his crock pot all the time and he uses liners. I said, I always forget to do that. Then you don't have to clean it. Oh, true. Good point. That's what you do. You just pick it you up. Literally and throw it just, out. yeah. Yeah. You can actually have someone walk to your car with you in the city? Yep. That's really cool. Respect. Yeah. He comes on at 3 o'clock. Low battery. See you tomorrow. Bye. Love you. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Maui. I need to set up the shelves. I will, I promise. Sometime this weekend. Guys, it is 6.33 in the morning. I need sleep. Alexa, good night. Nighty night. Get some good rest. Nighty night? What are you, five? No sign of snow yet. Good afternoon, everyone. It is 3.07. I finally got out of bed around 3 o'clock. Man, I went to bed around, what, 7, 7.30? Good times I said on Twitch, playing both Siege and Blackout. Blackout didn't go too well, but we had a ton of good call-outs. Excellent teamwork. And I'm looking forward to doing it again tonight. Hey, Maui. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. I'm just saying hi, dude. There you go. Good boy. Oh, you're go key. Hey, hey, Maui, Maui. Maui. Relax. Yes, there you go. Forget about your problems. Good boy. Good boy. <gasps> okay. I smoke. That's my today. A good day, guys. I don't know how much I'm going to be doing on camera. I hate that it's already 3 o'clock. Not going to lie. I hate it. But that's what happens when you stream till like 7 in the morning. 6, 7 in the morning. Whatever. It is what it is. And plus, it's a weekend thing. My, um... During the week schedule is much different now, much, much different. I'm actually productive at nighttime since I only stream in the afternoons now. Okay, um, I'm gonna make coffee. Kirsten, I'm gonna unbox your package very soon, I promise. I promise you, okay? okay I promise. I'm sorry it took so long. And I think I'm gonna target with Wawa Mama later, which is great because I need to go back. I forgot to get a shovel because I'm an idiot. If we're gonna get a lot of snow, now I'm reading that we're going to get a lot of rain instead of snow. I don't know. I hate weather forecasts, guys. I, you, no, no, you know what? My weather forecast is that. That's called a window. I simply look through it. I don't trust meteorologists and all that stuff. It's important to watch it now and then, like during, like, you know, critical situations, like hurricanes and whatever. But 99% of the time, your best forecast is just by looking outside of a window. Hey, it's the truth. How many times have they messed it up for you? Speaking of coffee, let me show you everything I bought last night at Target. At least the things that are in relation to Loot Corner. Alright, well first of all, here's how it looks. It's looking good, right? It's looking good. There's the Capri Sun. I'm gonna put some of that in the fridge today. I bought two jugs of water. Just so I don't have to constantly take that, you know, elsewhere. It's just more convenient. Uh, what else? Actually, not everything's up here. Where's the other stuff? Hmm. I'm tempted to play Blackout. I should really set up my Echo Spot today. I might wait till Monday, though. I don't know. We'll see. Weekends go by so fast, though, because I stay up so late. Oh, here we go. It's over here. I bought a sugar, a sugar, spoons, just to have up there. And check out this jar. 
This is actually a really nice jar for my sugar. Pretty cool, right? Love it. It's gonna look nice, guys. It's gonna look real nice. All right, let me finish making my coffee. And then Kirsten, I promise I'm going to unbox your gift. Thank you so much. Okay, Kirsten. Kirsten, Kirsten, Kirsten. I appreciate your generosity so much. But this, this, please don't do this. This was a challenge. I don't think I've ever seen somebody wrap a package in saran wrap before. That was difficult. Wait, hold on. Lindsay, dirty lens, Leah. Lindsay, dirt. Okay, there you go. Kirsten, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> that was, that was, that was something else. Really glad I did that off camera. Okay, here we go. I took a peek inside the box. There's a bunch of little things. Kirsten, you did not have to send me anything. You really didn't. Just the fact that you watch my videos regularly, you're always there on Twitch, you're always sending me bits and whatever and subscribing to me on Twitch, it really does mean a lot to me. By the way, isn't it incredible how often I mention Twitch nowadays? It's so funny how the internet can like take you from like point A all the way over to like point D. It's just fascinating. The internet is a huge place. You never know what kind of opportunities are going to present themselves to you. Okay, so let's go through this. Oh my God, Kirsten, this is a lot of stuff. First of all, I can't guarantee I'm going to put everything on display. So please understand that, but I really, really, really do appreciate everything you sent me. I didn't expect this much stuff. Uh, so thank you. <laughs> um, here's a dude. I don't really know who that is. I'm sorry, to be honest. I, I don't know who that is. I'm sure he's great, but thank you. Thank you. Uh, this. I'm not really familiar with either. <laughs> I'm sorry, but okay, cool. She's blue. This is probably some kind of Marvel thing. I don't know. She's kind of missing a hand. I'm so sorry. Rest in peace. But cool. Thank you. <clears throat> Another. I think it's a Funko Pop. It looks like Funko Pop. these one by one. I don't know any of these characters. I apologize. I don't I don't really know them. Uh, Anger of Beasts. <clears throat> this one's cool looking. I like him. <clears throat> okay. Pirates of the Caribbean. This I know. Very cool. Star Wars. This was on something. I don't know who this is. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know where most of this stuff is. But... Batman, obviously, I know. I'm sorry. I'm not a big superhero comic book nerd, so a lot of this stuff tends to go over my head. I'm just more into, like, video games and stuff like that. And, obviously, computers. Okay, this I could use. Taco Tuesday. Very cool. Very, very cool, because I definitely need to mix up um, my dieting in terms... Not dieting, but, you know, my, my meal plan in regards to tacos, and I love tacos, so thank you so much. This is easily my favorite thing so far. Thank you. Superman, obviously I know Superman. Iron Man. Cartman, South Park I love. Deadpool, love Deadpool. That was terrible, obviously Chewbacca. Is he from Harry Potter? I'm not a Harry Potter person, but I think he's from Harry Potter. So it's like butters. He's so sad. Kristen, where did all these figures come from? There's a lot. Aw, oh, it's Ted. I love Ted. Brand new in the box, Mr. Rogers. Okay, this is really cool. I used to be a huge fan of Mr. Rogers and that, that the, the train or the trolley that used to go by. Yeah, the, the trolley, I think. <clears throat> very, very cool. Awesome, I love this. Ooh, Cuphead. I never actually finished Cuphead. 
I'm sorry. I'm not saying sorry to you guys. I'm saying sorry to the gamers in general. But you know what? I think most gamers never completed Cuphead. I just kind of got distracted or fed up. This is cool, though. Thank you. Um, Krampus. <clears throat> oh, Krampus. Very cool. Pop figure. Thank you so much. <clears throat> um, oh, okay. Here we go. Nemo. I'm a huge fan of Finding Nemo. So, this is really cool. And finally, Spy Drew. Oh, Despicable Me 3. I have not seen that movie yet. I've seen Despicable Me 1, definitely. I've seen, I've seen that a couple times. Have I seen 2? I forget if I've seen 2. I'm kind of behind in the whole Despicable Me uh, universe, but very cool. I like that. And we have some envelopes for Steve and Kristen. Debbie and Dave. David, that's me. Oh, and happy birthday, okay. Let's start out with the birthday card. <clears throat> Come on. <clears throat> I was going to give you money for your birthday, dot, dot, dot. Unfortunately, security pulled me out of the water fountain before I was able to collect a respectable amount. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, David. Party hard. Kirsten, thank you so much. Appreciate it. And finally, last but not least, a Christmas card. Season's greetings. Pretty. Apologize for the bad lighting. I probably should have put the camera over here, but I don't have a counter over there, so it is what it is. Make sure to check your inbox. This card is too tiny for my long ass essay type letters. It's true. She writes extremely long emails. Merry Christmas, David. K.N. Holiday pleasure, joy, and lots of good cheer are wish for you and those you hold dear during this holiday season and throughout the coming year. Happy holidays. Kirsten, thank you so much. I apologize that I don't know like half of these figures. Uh, so not all of them are going to go on display, but the ones that mean something to me, like finding Nemo, um, and Cartman and all that stuff, and especially Deadpool. I love, love Deadpool. I think, I think it's hilarious. Um, that stuff will definitely find a home. But there you go. A bunch of figures. I'm assuming these were hers at some point. I'm not sure. Um, there's a really long email that I need to read, so I'll read that in a bit. But Kirsten, thank you. This is way, way too much. And I hope you enjoyed your holiday season. And Maui thanks you as well. Maui, hey. Okay, he just likes the box. <laughs> Hi, Maui. You're so cute. I love Siege. So this is very interesting. One bag of sugar is perfect for this size jar if you're curious. Look at that. How perfect is that? Amazing. I love it. Also, I'm making sausage. Yes, I'm having breakfast at nearly four o'clock. Where's the time? There's the time. Don't judge. So it turns out my mom doesn't need to go to Target. So I guess I won't be seeing the family today. I'm not gonna be vlogging the family. Sorry guys, it's just me again. My mom and dad have been very busy with church related stuff, which isn't really my thing to be honest. I'm not really all that into religion nowadays. I respect religion, it's just not for me. Uh, my mom's actually in the process of becoming a deacon. She's going to be helping the sick and everything, which I think is really cool. I have a lot of respect for that aspect of it. Um, so, in other words, it's just me today. Sorry. Sorry to disappoint. Uh, but the good news is, this gives me more free time for the basement because I definitely want to get a lot of stuff done in the basement today. I need to start getting that together. Uh, so basically, I want to put my shelf together, put all my games on there, um, unbox some things that I moved over from my old house and just go from there. The basement needs to come together because I want to start spending time down there very soon. It's a nice basement. It's a nice basement, it's just a matter of, well, when. All right, I'm gonna eat. I haven't had any food today. God, that looks good. More coffee, then I'm going in the basement. And hot damn, it got dark fast. Look at this, look at this. I actually like a dark room. I really do. I mean, I like a well-lit room, too, but sometimes I like being in the dark. 
Look at that. That little light makes a big difference. And I cannot wait to paint these walls white. Just gonna bring more light into the room. Waiting for that snow to fall. Should be soon. Maybe. I'm actually gonna leave this off. I'm watching a blackout stream. Imagine that. I don't usually watch him. God Doug with TP. I don't usually watch either of them, but I gotta say, they're really good. Just so really, really good. good okay, coffee. Boom! Maui. Boom! Boom, 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 boom! Hi, Maui. You want Kiki? You wanna hang on the basement? Yeah, you better get used to this, because I'm gonna be in the basement a lot. I cannot wait. It's gonna be like the ultimate party room with only myself. No, seriously, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start having friends and family over more often once I'm all settled in down there. Because I'm gonna have the dart board, you know, the dart board. Um, I'm gonna have the shots game. And I gotta have Dan over. I, I haven't seen Dan in months, because he's been busy with his job. I've been busy moving. Hopefully he's gonna be over next weekend for the patrons hangouts. I haven't had a patrons hangout in like three months. I've just been so busy. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully we're gonna do that next week. Look at this lighting though. Look at this lighting. Also, by the way, side notes, I completely forgot to mention this right there at the table during the beginning of this vlog. Every pledge, and I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not over pushing Patreon, uh, but this is critical. Every pledge pushes me closer to the ultimate goal of bringing back my 24 seven live stream from my office. Yes, if you go to patreon.com slash David DeFranco, right below, check out that top goal. I've been working towards that goal for nearly five years now. Yes, my five year anniversary is coming up on February 15th. How cool is that? And if we can hit that goal, you guys have my word. I will be bringing back that live stream. Of course, that live stream will only be accessible by patrons. But I'm telling you, those $1, $2, $5 pledges, they add up big time. And how cool would that be for me to stream 24 seven? I think that would be cool because for my early viewers, you probably recall, I used to stream daily on Ustream, like all day long. And I miss those days, I do. Um, but if we reach that goal, oh, those streams will come back. They will, and they could be pretty awesome. Filled with giveaways, by the way. Filled with giveaways. I definitely want to start doing more giveaways as long as my Patreon continues to rise. Mary, look at you, sitting in the sun. Not even the sun, just the daylight. What do you see? What do you see? It's actually a pretty cool shot. It's like a natural vignette. Oh God, look at that white balance change. Uh, this Sony camera. Your days are numbered, buddy. Oh, I made too much coffee. I didn't choose the right setting. Oh God, look at that. No. Yo, that thing was a pain in the butt to open. Dear Lord. Oh man. I managed to carry all the pieces down at once though. Very heavy, very, very heavy, which is a good sign. I don't like furniture that's too light. Careful. And yes, at some point I can definitely see myself having a mini fridge down here as well. With like, you know, my milk, sugar, coffee, a separate Keurig. In time though, in time. I must spend my money responsibly. Gotta love being down here. I really do. Having this basement is one of the main things that sold me on this house. <sighs> you probably wouldn't believe me since I'm rarely down here, but I'm just, I've just been so occupied upstairs. But guys, take my word, I will be down here a lot, especially when I get my retro consoles hooked up. I cannot wait to start playing the Dreamcast again. And of course, modern consoles as well, uh, because I had to get my surround sound speakers hooked up. Because right now, it's a 3.2 setup. 3.2, which is kind of weird. Uh, but it still it still sounds incredible. The bass is so good down here. Ah. All the hardware for this shelf. This is nice. This is definitely nice. Also, I have plenty of room for PlayStation VR down here. Whereas with my old house, it was so small, so so small. At least here I could freely move around. And um, actually, I'm gonna be buying Beat Saber first. Not first. I don't know why I said first. Uh, soon on PlayStation VR. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a rhythm-based game, like a music-based game based on um, 
like lightsabers, but you use your PlayStation Move controllers as the lightsabers. It looks incredible. It actually looks really, really incredible. Okay, guys, here we go. Let's do this. Let's build the shelf. Finally, this is a major component to the off basement. This is not an office. Uh, back there is eventually going to be the exercise room. Eventually. Of course, we need some entertainment down here. Probably turn on Twitch. Or maybe a random movie, I don't know. I just know this. I love my Apple TV. And I love this TV. This TV is so much better than the Samsung upstairs. The Samsung upstairs is fine. I mean, it's great for the cost. But man, you just cannot beat this quality. The brightness is so much better. Everything is so much sharper. It's just an all-around better TV. Maybe we'll put something on on, on Netflix. Oh, it sounds so good. What do I want to watch? What do I want to watch? No, seriously, guys. What do I want to watch? All right, the madness begins here. First of all, I got to give a shout out to uh, South Shore. Not only is the packaging great, but the instructions seem to be well well laid out. I mean, look at this. It's actually like a little booklet. Pieces look great. Packaging was very, very secure. I love it. I just say that because I've built many pieces of furniture, as you can imagine, uh, between desks, shelving, tables, chairs, whatever. But um, South Shore seems to do a good job. And I've decided to watch Joyride on Plex. Candy Cane. There you go. I gotta say, that looks really hot. I'm usually either a pure black or pure white kind of person when it comes to furniture. But I definitely like this. It has a classy vibe to it. I'm not done. I, I gotta put those little, those little filler pieces in. You know, um, these things. Where did I put them? Oh, here you go. Right here. These little dark gray plastic pieces. Well, guys, it's looking great, isn't it? Actually looks really nice. And as with any product I recommend, I will link this right below on Amazon. Check it out. Treat yourself. Also, I was thinking, I really need to start creating more more um, YouTube videos. Even if they're not like incredibly in-depth, incredibly detailed with, with like a lot of B-roll, I miss talking to you guys throughout the week. Even if it's like a simple basement tour. Is that something you guys would want to say? Like a gaming room tour, a basement tour? And I'm thinking about making a video titled like Top 5 Reasons to Convert from Console Gaming to PC Gaming or something like that. I definitely like list videos. I've, I've just always enjoyed talking about like top 5 or top 10 or whatever. I mean, look at my Twitch Chips video. That thing has over what, 300,000 views now? Which is incredible. And yes, I will be making a Twitch Chips 2019 video in the near future. Uh, but anyway, building this uh, furniture and getting stuff going. Is Mai over here or am I going crazy? He is, oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even know he was right there. Mai, what are you doing? You chilling? What an awkward place to lay. <laughs> God, you're amazing. You're so cute. Enjoy, Maui. Anyway, as I was saying, getting my basement together is really inspiring me to want to start making videos like this again. So, I don't know. I, I just think I'm too hard on myself. For instance, I see all these fancy, over-the-top videos with like fancy B-roll, and I'm not a big B-roll person. I enjoy seeing B-roll, but I've never been a big fan of making B-roll. It's just frustrating to me. Yeah, I'm just a tour kind of person, talking behind the camera, or simply sitting down in front of the camera and talking about whatever kind of kind of creator. So, let me know. Would you like to see videos like that? Please comment right below. Your feedback means a lot to me. Um, they don't have to be over the top, but just simple videos. I mean, simple videos are better than no videos, right? And plus, with the house and everything, it's kind of been my focus between the house and my website work and Twitch. My time is a little limited on YouTube nowadays. But once all this stuff is done, I will have more time for content. Especially once the frankenmedia.com is done. Especially once that's done. Okay. Resume. Shut up! No, you! Oh, dude! I don't mean to repeat myself, but 
<sighs> you know what? Yes, I do, because I'm so proud of this house. Do you remember a while ago when I originally got this chill bag in my other house? How much room it took up? It took up so much room. But check this out. It's in the basement, and it's just not in the way. It's not in the way. And that's incredible, guys. That's incredible. All right, quick score time, and then I'm going to eat. I can smell my chicken Popeye from down here. Good job, Bobbin. Good job. Keep going. So, hopefully it looks different to you guys, but I really did get a lot done today. I got a lot done, mostly moving some furniture, putting some things away, and it just looks so much more organized. And of course, I built my shelf. It's looking good. Quick tour. And I'm watching Andy Milanakis on Twitch. By the way, fun fact, I used to not be a fan of his at all when I was younger. But now that I'm older and I have a wider, um, whatchamacallit, view on humor and whatever, I love him. I think, I think he's hilarious. Plus, I love his IRL streams when he walks around LA, New York, all that stuff. Maui, what are you doing? Come here. What are you doing? All right, good, chill. He's like, the basement looks different. All right, so coming down the steps, obviously this is temporary. This is temporary. God, this is a whole project in itself, guys. I, I need to cut this up with some kind of saw or I don't know, uh, but I'll get it done. The bar is gonna look amazing once all this is out. So, no, they have coffee for me? I guess I'll stop by and pick it up then. Anyway. Uh, here's the basement coming down the stairs. You can see the uh, chill bag right away and please note all the space around it Even then I can move it to the left if I wanted to actually, you know what? I probably will move it to the left So there you go Got the shelf. I love this shelf. It looks so good. Love it. Love it. Love it I'm using the Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle sign to block the um, access hole back there couch this is free. Um, it doesn't look that great, but it, you know what? It's a free couch. End table. This is now centered with the TV location, which is cool. And plenty of space for games like Samba de Amigo and Dance Dance Revolution. Plenty of walkway right here. He's very obnoxious. Um, these are obviously temporary. TV setup didn't change at all, except down here, I have all my cables and adapters and a black thing that blends in. Move the couch back a little bit. This is over here. This is actually a motorized chair and something I will be using in the future. I put my Christmas stuff away. Feeling good, feeling good. And there's my saxophone. I think I'm gonna take that out for the Pigeons Only vlog this week coming up, which could be pretty cool. Hey guys, there you go. Kinda sucks that the tour was quick. I mean, I'm not gonna go into detail right now. Eventually I'll make another video. Also, also please note, all the uh, outlets I have right there, those outlets are being used. I have outlets right here. I have outlets right here behind the chill bag. I have outlets behind the couch. Plenty of space. Oh, also, I even have outlets over here, which I could have some fun with, like maybe signs or lights. So, there you go. Okay, I can, I can hear my oven beeping. I got a lot done today, guys. I'm finally feeling good about this basement. I'm still, I'm still gonna eat dinner upstairs though. Just because, well, I have all my stuff upstairs already. So I think we're good. I will definitely be down here this week. Next week, I guess, but by the time you see this video, this week, uh, which one's which? Should you keep that like, no, keep it like that. Wait. Okay. I'm coming, I'm coming. Anyway, I'm looking forward to watching movies down here. Maybe Monday night or Tuesday night. I just have more things I want to get done upstairs tonight. Okay, 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 I'm here. Thank you. Good job, good job. How do you turn this off? I haven't really used it too much yet. Oh, cancel. That makes sense. Hi, Maui. Ah, good morning, guys. Things you do for family. It's 8 o'clock. Which isn't that early, but considering I just went to bed an hour and a half ago, about two hours ago, I'm very tired. Very, very tired. Yep, you see all that rain? <laughs> That's some snow, isn't it? 
Good job, meteorologist. Good job. Good job. I got an hour and a half sleep, guys. <laughs> I'm doing this for my mom. <laughs> if, if, it was, if it wasn't for family, I would not be up today. I would be sleeping. I am so, so tired. I'm literally going to go to church, do the thing there, come back, and sleep the rest of the day. And then just edit the vlog later. Oh my god. An hour and a half of sleep. It's better than zero hours, right? There's always a positive side. Deacon Deb. Yes. How are you? I'm good. Congratulations, Mom. Thank you. Good uh, can job. Can you send me those pictures, David? Yeah. Hi, Dad. I know. I saw you taking pictures. I thought you were making a video. You're looking snazzy. Yeah. Show off that bod, Dad. Come on. Pose. That was a weird pose I just did. It was like an accent. Pose. Okay, how do I get my dad off? Swipe from the top right. Oh, top right? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Wait, you just did pressure, Dad. You're on intensity. Look. Stop it. You just do tap. Think of that as like a right click for, um, like <laughs> options or whatever. It's still on. In other words, like a textual menu. Yeah, just just tap it. Also, you don't you don't you don't have to unlock your phone and do that too. Hi, Blinks. Blinks' his eyes open. Hi, Blinks. He's so cute. Hi. Okay, ask your viewers. Okay, any viewers out there? I am thinking of buying a Audi A6. So if anyone's familiar with that car, I know nothing about it other than it looks really cool. A lot of technology in it. So send your comments to the post. An Audi A6. Alpha 6. Thank you. My lease, my lease is up on my great, 4 Series. Buddy. Show my car. Right there. Please, your eye looks good. No, the 4 Series down there. There you go. Sorry. Hey Blinks. Okay, I think he needs His eyes are open. He needs boys food. Good boy. Do you have any? Yeah, he needs medicine too still. We went to Rudders. We saw our neighbor Bob. I treated him to coffee. That was a ni nice nice surprise seeing him. him Wasn't that a nice surprise seeing Bob? Yes. You hold him all squirt. He, he's there a lot. But that was my first time actually seeing him. Yeah, he needs Oh, him. he's yeah. hiding. He's like, he's nope. Good. He knows. Look at him. He's a smart cat. He's right. He's like, whenever they come. Come here, Rudders. I know. Oh, I was thinking. Cool. We should we should name them Rudders. Now, if we if we ever find a cat at Rudders, then yeah, we'll name him Rudders or her. Deb, I don't know if he's supposed to be having this because he had his recheck exam. Ain't this the truth? I think it was supposed to end, Deb. I thought you said. Look at Jabby. Yeah, no, she didn't say anything about this. Okay, then I won't get it done. Pop it this list. I got coffee. It's in the car. Right. I, have I got two there. tornadoes: sausage, egg, and cheese, bacon, egg, and cheese. Yeah, I've never tried those. Stomach. I've tried the pepper jack cheese, answer? which is really good, and. Um, and pepperoni pizza, and which is really good too. This is actually a good thing. Seal it, meal. Blinks makes me break out. Watch of this. What? It's actually a nice gift. I think Josh guess? Josh, was that from Oh, Josh. Josh. Yo, Josh. Do it. I like the Christmas gifts this year. The screwdriver set is in my office now. I actually needed a screwdriver set. I needed a very high-end one. I needed some, one like you got me. And thank you very much. Non-high-end? Well, it's not like a... Craftsman or well, Malky or, yeah. but they brand actually, snob. No, 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 no. It's just as good. It's just as good. And thank you. I appreciate it. So what's up? Everything good? Okay. okay it's not answering. Josh, actually, out of all David's viewers, you're one of the. You're like the top five in my my list. What are the other four? Um, I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say them all. It's not to say Josh is in the top five. Because Josh is really, he's cool. He doesn't put any fronts on. He's, what you see is what you get. He's a good guy. By the way, shout out to Zoe in my chat room. Love Zoe. She thinks it's funny how you always hear, th th think her name is Chloe. I'm like, I know. You get Zoe, confused. Zoe, Chloe. Well, let's face it. When I'm talking to you guys, I'm pretty much drinking. My my Captain Morgan. Yeah. Not too much. Who's the one that gave me the stupid thing? It was Zoe. Yeah, Zoe. Love it. Love it. I told you I eventually did. No, it was Chloe, Dad. Oh, uh, Chloe. Thank you, Chloe. For what? I know it's Zoe. Just kidding, it's Zoe. I just saw a picture of someone. It was a really pretty picture. I gotta find it. Hold on. Hold on. Pause. Was it of me? No. Hi, boys. Hold on. Look at his face. Hi, Tweety. He liked this part. 
He likes this part. It's like a Good massage. Boy. Okay, her. Her. Now, Zoe, you are amazing looking. Oh, that's not you, sorry. That's some granny. <laughs> Who is that? What's wrong it's with the granny? It's Angela Baker. Hold on. What's wrong with the granny? Nothing. Okay, these nuns grow weed. What is up with that? <laughs> oh, sweet. Granny smoking weed. <laughs> well, nanny. Nanny, whatever. Hold on. Oh, I, I can't find a picture now. Ew, that's disgusting. God, I'm tired. I'm gonna crash when I get back. Hi. Is it open? You're so cute. Yeah. How's your new coffee maker? Seriously, I might get a new one. Good, I like it. Hi, right, Dad. This is goodbye. So what am I doing with this oh, fridge? Oh, I gotta man? say, I'm not the biggest churchgoer nowadays, as I made clear. Should I drop it? But I'll put it back in. I definitely yeah. like the small town community feel that we have at that church. Thank you. For instance, after every service, mom and dad always go to some kind of big break room. Coffee hour. Not break room, but community room, I guess. Yeah. It's and they, the coffee. Yeah, and then they have coffee, cookies, donuts, all that stuff, which Although is pretty popcorn. They didn't show up today. <laughs> which is pretty cool. But they still, that's the still food. Stuff in the kitchen. It's just really cool that you guys actually gather there to talk. It is. Whereas with our old church, we would just go home yep. or go, yeah. go 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 the breakfast. I mean, so. It's cool. Props for that. Pin her up against the wall because she's a masterpiece. I saw that. <laughs> I like what that. What is up? Clever. It is windy today. Okay, it doesn't look very windy there, but believe me, it's pretty windy. It's actually going to be windy into the night, so prepare for blasts of windness. Blasts of windness? I like legit feel shaky. Uh, it's already 3 o'clock. Didn't go back to sleep yet. I'm still going on barely an hour and a half of sleep. Um, I decided to hop on the blackout, and my dude Flares was playing. So we did some duos. We actually got a win. I shouldn't say actually. We've gotten plenty of wins together. Uh, but I'm just really happy that we got a win. Did I stream it? No. Should I have streamed it? Yes. I regret not streaming it. It was such a solid win. It's tons of teamwork. I got, I got six skills. He got six skills. Uh, we got about equal damage, so that was, that was pretty cool. Okay, on that note, um, I'm going to sleep, guys, for a few hours. It's, it's, just, it's just a nap at this point, because I'm doing dinner with the parentals tonight. You know what? It only makes sense to sign off now, because I'm going to wake up, I'm going to go to their house, have dinner, watch the football game, all that stuff, and by the time I'm back, I'm going to be editing. Actually, hopefully I'll be editing there, and you know what? It makes total sense to import these clips while I sleep, because rendering takes a little while. So guys, as always, I just want to thank you so much for your support. Uh, whether you're for or against my changes with the weekend vlog schedule, it is what it is. I can't please everyone. Trust me, I realize that. What's very interesting is I've even had patrons say, David, you should release the weekend vlog for non-patrons like a week later which I think is too much. In my opinion, that's a little too much. So again, I'm just gonna stress this. At least it's only one day later um, than Monday, you know, Tuesday. So it's not too bad, guys. Not too much is changing. I'm just looking to free my schedule up a bit, hopefully add some value to Patreon. And again, if we work towards that goal of the 24 seven live stream coming back, that would be incredible. Imagine the content I could produce with that live stream. And I'm serious, 24 seven. Guys, I have a gigabit connection. It can handle it. So let's make it happen. Thank you guys so much for your support. I hope you enjoyed your weekend and have an amazing week ahead. Peace.